Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Bitcoin um, has seen a pullback, um, nothing major though. Um, on the Bitcoin chart, it shows like 3.5% down. That is for crypto nothing unusual um, for Bitcoin actually. However, even though we haven't even broken micro support, yeah. So don't, you know, when something like this happens, um, a lot of people seem to be shocked. I mean, let's be honest, for Bitcoin, again, we haven't even broken micro support, okay? So we have to give those movements space, you know, into the support areas. And we seem to have stopped in the support area. Possibly, though, this is only wave A. And the whole pattern would look now a little bit better with a wave B and C to come that we are in this larger degree fourth wave actually. yeah. Uh, that is also more in line with many other coins that were due some pullbacks like for example Ethereum. yeah. The deeper pullback on the ETH chart definitely helps us to landmark that chart to get a bit of orientation. ADA was definitely due a pullback, was in the target area yesterday or a couple of days ago. Link yeah, with that high B wave due a pullback Solana, yeah, possibly with that high B wave due a pullback. So there are various charts, but obviously I have to go through them individually. Ocean, yeah, reach target um, due a pullback. So I will go through them individually today anyway. Um, but I actually haven't seen a chart that has any pullback that would be out of the ordinary. So anyway, we will know more in the next few days. At the moment, um, it seems to me that this was only the A wave, okay, of, of a pullback. It at least would look better. Can I rule out that all of wave four is already done? No, um, but it seem it just would look better, okay. Also, um, this has come down a little bit too deep to make this a very likely lower degree fourth wave. Yeah, so that was sort of the other scenario we had. Maybe still in this fourth wave with a fifth to come. Even though we haven't broken micro support, it has come down quite deep. And I think um, looking at the dimensions of this move, I would now count it as the larger degree fourth wave that we already discussed in the last few videos. Even though, you know, even though um, nothing really happened and the support didn't even break. So how would that look like? So if really wave three topped here, yeah, then this is the A wave. We should get a B wave over the coming sessions. How high can the B wave go? Well, see, B waves don't really have a target. I can give you a standard retracement area, but I'll take it off the chart again because B waves can overshoot. You know, it's that kind of market. Um, the resistance, standard resistance, yeah, is between 42,559 and 43,760. So that's the standard um, resistance area, let's say, okay, standard resistance. And above the 78.6 retracement, 43,760, it might get a little bit more likely that we're already in the next wave up. But it is it, it is difficult to say with B waves because they can overshoot. So it's all about structure. If we see an impulse to the upside now, then it's likely wave 5. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. It dipped into support anyway. So um, 40,400 was micro support. The price is already recovering from that. Um, if we see a break below today's low, which was basically here at 40,400, but it was only a wick down. I mean, if you zoom in, you see that, oops, you see that um, here on the one hour, I mean, it didn't even close below the 38.2 retracement. Yeah? So, yeah, sometimes you even see when we have very volatile price action in crypto, you sometimes see even these micro support levels broke, break, break, shake a lot of people out, but actually we never, we never broke our support, okay? So just an observation. And then um, if we now see a corrective rally, it could be that B wave. And then over the coming sessions, we can get that C wave down. And the main support as repeatedly stated over the current, over the last few weeks, um, or last, yeah, last one or two weeks is at 34,070, okay? Um, so, I mentioned in a few videos, if anybody's looking for, for an entry point for Bitcoin, it is tough to give a good entry point in the main element of a third wave rally, which we could be in. Okay, so a rally with only shallow pullbacks. Therefore, I highlighted, I mean, the only really relevant support level I can recommend is the 43K level. 
and we might get closer to that. Uh, I'm not sure if we get all the way down there. Uh, if this was already the wave A, then probably not, and we might end somewhere between 36 and 39k. But yeah, that's what we have to observe. We will know more over the coming sessions. Overall, the structure is absolutely unaffected. Um, even here on the, I mean, the daily chart is anyway unaffected, but let's take a look. BTC daily, um, absolutely no effect on that. So um, this pullback is far too weak to, to matter on the larger time frame. Here you also see on the daily time frame our main support area, which is why I've shown it, because that's literally for the current uptrend, yeah, the main support, 34K. Um, the noise on the shorter time frame shouldn't matter to you if you're just interested in the, let's say, the medium term. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.